Bitter expats, they're everywhere. Um, they have an opinion on everything, which is part of the problem, because they won't actually tell you why they're bitter in the first place. They've normally got health problems that have affected the life they wanted in the Philippines, or they seem a bit scared of the Philippines and have this sheltered life in a, going between the subdivision and shopping malls. They can um, have a marriage problem. They can have the bubble where they had a dream of the Philippines being this amazing place and then arrive there and realize they can't fund that level of uh, expectation. There's lots of different reasons. Even my internet troll that's been following me for a few years, that guy has been bitter since before I even arrived. I think 2005, some of his nonsense is. He doesn't like people being happy in the Philippines. Because it seems like he's lost everything. He lost all his money or whatever. Guy's bitter about it. And this is the thing. When you go through different expats, there's always a reason behind it. But it's normally not the reason you bumped into them. They'll say things that are mocking or aggressive about things that have got no attachment to the real reasons that underpin their attitude. All I can advise, just ignore them. Um... They aren't worth the hassle. Um, and you got the other side, where you, the, the hippie happy type, where everything's fantastic in the Philippines. Some of them started off the other way. <laughs> it's been time that's actually changed them from being hippie happy to bitter. Um, but at the same time, that's just life in the Philippines. Expats also have this frustration where um, there's not enough people in the community that keep them entertained, keep them busy, keeps their mind busy, talks politics, talks stuff that of a Western influence. Because myself, I like talking about politics. Most people don't, um, even in the West they don't. But I have my little circle where we discuss things, um, but most of them aren't in the Philippines. Software I discuss with guys in the Philippines, because um, there's several of the key people I know that do well in the Philippines develop their own software. But generally, I'm a business oriented person, so I don't get affected in the same way as a lot of other people. What I do find is the bitterness, though, is often just not connected to the right things. You know, somebody will have an opinion about uh, start with it. The, the biggest thing I hear on a regular basis is start with a big uh, fortune in the Philippines if you want to end up with a small fortune. That is just uh, typical negativity. The reality is, as you, as you hear me say more than once, start with a small venture and work your way up. I had never say invest big in anything because the expectations of the wealth coming out of that are obviously uh, going to be on a Western standard for most expats because they haven't um, downsized the profit margins in relation to the local market. So I will say start small. But I won't say to anybody, don't try a business because the fact is there is money to be made in the Philippines. There is business profit in pretty much everything. A lot of it is down to the fact people don't know how to manage businesses. So if you have these experiences with the negative people, just delete them, block them, cut them off, um, because you're not going to change them. They're bitter, and they were bitter before you got there, and they'll continue to be bitter for a lot uh, for for a lot longer. The only way they'll get a positive change is when they take a look in the mirror, if they ever. What you do not want them doing is affecting you, um, because they're not going to help you in any way. If anything, when you when you're on the way up, they'll be complaining about you and like waiting for you to fail. And when you fail, they'll be wanting to say, I told you so. So at no point have they put anything positive in your life. So that's why I say, don't bother with them. Uh, just push them to one side. There's plenty of nice people out there. There's plenty of good expats. Um, you'll find you'll whittle your, your circle of people you associate with from a thousand, say, down to probably 20. Um, my close friends in the Philippines is probably about 10. Um, simply because the others um, just ain't worth the hassle.
There's a, it's not just the bitterness. It's, it's some of them like in fighting on purpose. They, they thrive on it. Because um, they have these little disputes between each other. It's like egotistical. But there's, I don't even know what they're arguing about. But they play off each other. And just walk away from it. Because it can get quite serious. So the point is, just avoid them. Um, if you've got people that are very negative, just cut them off. And get rid of them. Don't waste your time on them. Don't waste the effort. They just ain't worth it. All right, thanks for watching.